As I was rewatching President Biden's speech to Congress this week, I noticed that Republicans pouted during the most inoffensive and, in fact, popular aspects of Biden's speech. So I put together a series of clips here showing the hilarious reactions from Republican lawmakers to Joe Biden and then a special clip at the end of the sequence. And I think you'll see what it is. Let's lower deductibles for working families on the Affordable Care and Affordable Care Act. And let's lower prescription drug costs. We know how to do this. Let's give Medicare the power to save hundreds of billions of dollars by negotiating lower drug prescription prices. Let's raise the minimum wage to $15. No one, no one working 40 hours a week, no one working 40 hours a week should live below the poverty line. It's, but it's time for corporate America and the wealthiest 1% of Americans to just begin to pay their fair share. Just their fair share. We're going to reform corporate taxes so they pay their fair share and help pay for the public investments their businesses will benefit from as well. Trickle-down economics has never worked, and it's time to grow the economy from the bottom and the middle out. We all know how outrageously expensive drugs are in America. In fact, we pay the highest prescription drug prices of anywhere in the world, right here in America. Nearly three times for the same drug, nearly three times what other countries pay. All right. Uh, Bernie Sanders there was a special clip at the end. You, see, you can tell that he's smiling behind that mask as Joe Biden is using his language on the insane cost of pharmaceuticals. So some good rhetoric there from Biden. As I discussed in my breakdown video comparing his speech to uh, Jamal Bowman's response, this speech was fine for, from Biden, but it doesn't really mean much if you don't have the mechanism to actually get any of it passed. Of course, getting rid of the filibuster being a very important piece of that. So while the rhetoric is there, we still have yet to see the actual actions. That said, let me just comment on some of what we uh, watched there. So Lauren Boebert, I believe it was, shaking her head at Biden, pointing out the insane cost of drugs. Ted Cruz uh, as well, just sitting there in, in with a, a, a dumb look on his face. Mitt Romney, who has a net worth of $250 million uh, was just sitting there looking angry after Joe Biden discussed the need to raise the wage to 15 bucks an hour and raise the corporate tax rate. I understand there is, look, yes, there is so much acting in politics, but how does this help them? <laughs> like if Republicans want to pretend that they care about the working class, and they have tried to pretend, especially people like uh, like Josh Hawley, pretends that the Republican Party represents the working class. At least pretend as well to care about the parts of this speech that actually help the working class. But it goes to show you that the entire party, and to be fair, both parties, full of actors, but um, I don't know how it even helps their case to... Uh, to do what they did there. And during that speech, Biden actually helped Republicans by claiming that we work together to pass stimulus checks for the American people. Not a single Republican voted for the American Rescue Plan, uh, plan yet Joe Biden gave Republicans credit anyway. So you see how he's going above and beyond in terms of trying to reach out to Republican lawmakers but obviously there is no way to work with these people and he shouldn't even try to work with them. But just to show you, you know, the, the total divide here, when it comes to bipartisanship, it's only Republican lawmakers that really do not care at all about doing anything to help people. 